What is popping you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to add a green screen to your live stream. Because let's say that you have a face cam and you wanna have like a transparent background that you're only yourself is in the screen. I'm gonna also show you how to chroma key yourself out so you can go live without any background. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below, subscribe if you're new. I would say let's get started right after the intro. So right now I would like to introduce you guys to own3d.tv, the ultimate website to get your resource for live streaming, whether it's overlays, alerts, alert sounds, panels, stinger transitions, sub emotes, sub badges, bit badges, website for streamers, an avatar maker, everything that you need to get started live streaming is on this website. No matter if you're looking for streaming overlays, gaming overlays itself, talking overlays, webcam overlays, stream panels, stream banners, these panels when somebody donates that pops up during your live stream. Everything is on this website, guys. They have a ton of excellent ranked reviews on Trustpilot as well. Everything comes in high quality that you can download right away, guys. It is really cool. Check the link in the description. Start downloading today and improve your live streams. Now, let's continue with the video. Right guys, so as you can see right now, I pulled up the green screen for this video. In order to use a green screen in your actual live stream, it is important that we're going to make our face cam border invisible because if you don't have a background, there's no point of having like a face cam border because we're transparent. So now that the face cam border is hidden, not deleted, what we're gonna do is we're going to click on webcam and we're going to pick the chroma key on the very right. Now, as you can see right now, it's already removing parts of it, but it's not really optimized. We're gonna click on edit chroma key and now we're going to click on this box which will give us an option to adjust the color as you can see so if i drag this one a little bit more to the top it will actually remove it quite good but as you can see like right here it's a lot of noise so that's where you want to actually mess with the similarity that's too much and with the edge transparency and also with the edge color correction as you can see you want to make sure that those ones are actually optimized so that you are nice and transparent just like that. Now, if I go ahead and click out for a second, what we want to do is we want to place ourselves, for example, like to nice to the corner right here and make yourself a little bit bigger. Now, as you can see right now, this is how you use a chroma key and a green screen in Twitch Studio, guys. It is that simple. You don't need a face cam border for this because it doesn't make sense because like we're transparent. So guys, that is it. This is how to do it. Thank you guys for watching. It's that simple. There's nothing more to show you. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you're wondering, you can do the same with a blue screen. I'm using a green screen, but on the other side, it's blue and it works exactly the same. Just pick the blue color and then you are good to go. So guys, that's it for this video. Make sure to go ahead and check out own3d.tv for all the assets that you need in terms of like live streaming and all that. Thanks a lot for them for sponsoring this video. I want to thank guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button down below and subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you guys obviously in my next video.